Cleanup at the toxic spill site in East Palestine is resuming, and the EPA continues to say that test levels are within safe parameters. Residents, however, aren't buying it. Alexis McAdams has more from East Palestine, Ohio. After a brief pause, the cleanup has resumed at this toxic spill site in East Palestine, Ohio. And on Tuesday, the head of the EPA took another look at the cleanup. This is now the third time EPA Administrator Michael Regan has been on the ground in Ohio. Last time he was in town, he drank the tap water to try and show residents it was safe. Now at the site of the crash itself, which is still covered in dangerous debris. I can promise that as this community continues to look forward, we're going to be here every step of the way for as long as it takes. We aren't going anywhere. It's been almost a month since the Norfolk Southern freight train derailed, contaminating the area with toxic chemicals. The EPA claims both the air and water are safe, but some locals are still complaining about chemical smells and ongoing health issues. I do question, you know, the people getting rashes and stuff like that, what, what is causing it. Um, they are saying everything's safe and, you know, we're taking them at their word, but we need to get to the bottom of what's happening. Federal officials are now sending the contaminated soil to EPA approved dump sites in and around Ohio. The EPA is going door to door to test the air quality in town. Right now, the agency insists that the air quality here is normal. This is new. This is not normal. This is not something that was there before. So we're concerned that that is what is making its way in, into our wells. Congress is now planning hearings on this spill, and the CEO of Norfolk Southern will be asked to testify. Reporting in East Palestine, Ohio, I'm Alexis McAdams, Fox News.